That's right. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the best boots you can buy and wear for bushcrafting in the outdoors. Let's jump into it. Now, as always, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Now, I understand that uh, when we come to the discussion point of boots, it's always a little bit controversial because some people think that you should have more traditional boots, Nicks or White's boots, for being outdoors and in the wilderness. And some people are a little bit more leading towards my side where they think that, you know, you can get away with a more modern style boot. And today I'm going to be explaining why I prefer the Dander Tachyons over many different other things because I have actually tried a lot of different boots and shoes over the course of time. And I do own a pair of NYX boots and I have tried those and fielded them as well for being outdoors, hiking, hunting, and bushcrafting. And time and again, I come back to the Dander Tachyons. And these are not my first pair and they probably will not be my last pair. Okay, so let's talk about what makes these boots my favorite for the wilderness and for outdoors. So the first thing for me is that they're very lightweight and that they have a sneaker feel. And once again, this is probably going to be the biggest separator for most people is that is some people may prefer a more traditional style boot, something like a NYX or something like a, a White's boot that has more of an arch and a defined heel. But for me, I wear a lot of sneaker-like shoes, like I'm wearing now, and I like having a very flat uh, shoe or outsole that does not have a very pronounced um, arch in it. And I think that that, over time and over the course of multiple different terrains and conditions, makes for a more comfortable shoe. Now, of course, I can wear either. I'm not particular. Uh, I'm not particularly picky, but I just think that this ends up being a more comfortable. Uh, sneaker like feel and it feels something that you know you can wear like I said in different terrains over gravel over soil over shale uh, it really ends up being just comfortable in most conditions so that's the first point that I really like about them and like I said being lightweight they are not a shoe that's going to really weigh you down and be bulky unlike a lot of uh, NYX boots and whites and so on where they're made out of a lot of very thick very heavy duty leather and that kind of leads me to the next point of kind of getting back to comfort uh, while you're wearing uh, the shoe is that with those boots because they are made out of very thick very heavy duty leather not only are they heavy but they're also very uncomfortable even after being broken in uh, they may mold to your foot but they are still very rigid very hard and they're not very flexible which once again when you're trying to go up a hill you're trying to climb some shale or you're trying to go across different conditions that may not be very good in addition if the boots do get wet or soaked those nyx boots tend to hold on to that water very well whereas this thinner lighter weight uh, fabric like cordura and even thinner uh, lighter weight um, suede tends to dry out faster and it tends to just work better in in adverse conditions which unfortunately you know you may try very hard but sometimes your shoes and your boots just get wet and so having a boot that dries out fast and you know knowing that it's not going to just stay wet is a lot better than just getting a boot soaked and it stays soaked for you know a long time the next thing I like about uh, the Danner Tachyons is that they are definitely built for desert and arid environments and hot environments in general. And it can get pretty hot here, even though it doesn't necessarily look like it today. Uh, our summers can go into the 80s, 90s, above, and uh, it gets pretty toasty. So having a good shoe that is very breathable, like the Danner Tachyon, is another pretty handy thing and like I said these tachyons definitely breathe they even have uh, little vent ports on the side uh, or on the uh, instep of the shoe they have a, on the inside of the shoe they have vents for extra breathing or extra breathability so the next thing and one of the last things that I do really like about the Danner tachyons is that invariably if you wear your shoes at all if you actually go out and use your shoes, put miles on them, they will wear out. And whether it's a NYX boot, a White's, a Danner, a Solomon, uh, you name it, they're all gonna wear out at some point. 
and it's nice that uh, the uh, Danner Tachyons really come in at a pretty good price point. They're right around $100 to $120, depending on the color and the size you get. Uh, they are pretty darn affordable boots, and they are certainly ones that you can replace when the time comes. However, I will also say that they are also durable. I'm usually able to get about a good year and a half to two years of lifespan out of a Danner Tachyon, and really what ends up failing more than anything is the outsole bottom of the boot as opposed to really any other part. The upper stays good, and I've never really dealt with any tearing or ripping of the upper and the, the toe and everything really just stays together pretty well. I've not, I've not really had any durability issues with the tachyons aside from like I said the outsole wearing out, which is completely normal and natural. Speaking of the outsole, it is a pretty generic and okay pattern. It's not super aggressive, but it's also not very slick either. It's just a whole bunch of basically pentagons in a uh, just spread out kind of across the bottom of the shoe. It's nothing really particularly uh, amazing or bad or good. It's just uh, it's just an okay tread pattern and I do find the one thing I like about the tread pattern is it does do a pretty good job at shedding itself of mud and dirt and garbage. So these just went through the mud the other day and there's a little bit of caked on dried mud but by and large they're pretty cleaned out and uh, that is one nice thing about good treads. Good treads should be able to purge themselves pretty well so that they can stay and continue to grip nicely over the course of your terrain. So overall, the fit is really great. Uh, the support is great. I like the fact that these feel like a sneaker, but they are boots and they offer the additional protection that comes with having something that goes over your heel when you're out in the woods. They deliver really on everything that I've needed as far as a outdoors boot goes. Like I said, they're priced really well, they're durable, and they work well for me. There's a reason why I keep going back to them and the reason why I think they're one of the best wilderness boots, especially when considering the price. They're comfortable, they're priced right, they're durable, and they just make sense for me for a lot of reasons. So that's the Danner Tachyons. Are they the boot for you? I'm not 100% sure, but they are a really good boot that works time and again for me, and I love wearing them and using them out in the field. So hopefully this video has helped you guys. As always, God bless, and I'm out.